So Jordan Love got hurt a couple weeks ago. And Malik Willis so far has actually been working out pretty well. But there was a quarterback from the history of the Green Bay Packers who was considered one of the best in history as he is a Hall of Famer. And that is Brett Favre. So, let's do it. So add Brett Favre to the 2025, 2024 Green Bay Packers in Madden 25. And yes, I did replace the man, the myth, the legend, Jordan Love. And yes... This is your Southern Miss number four, quarterback one, Brett Favre. All right, let's get right into it. Week one, they play the Philadelphia Eagles in Brazil. And this time, Brett Favre does not go down with injury, so it's 28 to 14. Um, week two, they play the Indianapolis Colts. Now, I'll be honest with you, every time I've done a Brett Favre video when it comes to the Packers... They usually do good. They usually do very, very well. It's almost like, you know, he brings back that same energy with this team and energizes them to be the best team ever. I don't know. So far, they're 4-1, and one, though. The Packers also do simulate very well in Madden. They're just a team that does very well. They're about to play the 5-1 and one Texans, which, that's insane. But, for the most part, I mean, their schedule isn't insufferable. It's somewhat manageable, so I would assume, like, normally when I do simulations, they usually go 10 or 11 wins every single time. So if they don't get 12 wins here, I'll be heavily surprised. So far, already having 7 wins. 7 and 1, but for some reason, the whole division, except for the Vikings, is doing so freaking amazing. You got 7 and 1, 6 and 1, 5 and 2, and 2 and 5. So, going into their bye week, now, sitting pretty at a, they, whoa, they destroyed the Lions in 8-1 record. So, Brett Favre, 19 touchdowns, 6 interceptions, there's your gunslinger as always. Um, Josh Jacobs, 668 yards, Watson having a good season so far, leading the team. Uh, defensively. Preston Smith has leads the team in uh, sacks. Interception is Edgier and Cooper. Nice. So, so far, it looks like their offense moved the ball pretty efficiently. Uh, when you're 8-1, and one, that does help out a lot. But now they play the 7-2 and two Chicago Bears in Chicago. And it looks like they still own the Bears. The 3-7 and seven 49ers. You know, I'd say that... I'm sorry, but the 49ers actually own the Packers. It is actually insane. Um, I was going to say is that does sound insane that the Pack, I mean, the 49ers are that bad. But right now, the 49ers are going through it. So 10 and 1 Dolphins. And they beat the 10 and 1 Dolphins. 7 and 5 Lions. Lions kind of collapsed, it looks like. And they beat the Lions. So. As I said, 10 or 11 wins. I wanted to see 12 wins for this team. And they got those 12, at least 12 wins, it looks like. Um, well, they lost to the Saints. Okay, now they play the 4 and 11 Vikings. So they end up getting 13 wins. Can they get 14 wins? They get 14 wins and they win the conference. So shout out to the Packers, 14 and 3. Dolphins go 14 and 3 as well. Ravens 13 and 4. So looks like a good franchise here, except for the Rams going 8 and 9. Oh, man, winning the division at 8 and 9 is insanity, bro. Ain't no way you're winning a division at 8 and 9. That was like the NFC South like a couple years ago. And honestly, probably NFC South this year at this point. I don't know why I clicked on that. But let's go to stats. Um, 4,300 yards, 39 touchdowns, 14 interceptions. 1,300 yards on the ground. Christian Watson, three 1,000-yard receivers. Nice. Um, defensively, Preston Smith, Lucas Van Ness. Okay, Ejiren Cooper. Second-ranked offense. What were they defensively? 26th. Yeah. Defensively, not working out too well. Brett Favre comes in fifth for 
uh, MVP race, and that's because Lamar Jackson is Lamar Jackson, and man finds a way to um, put up enough rushing yards and rushing touchdowns to hold down the fort. So, Divisional, they play the Falcons. Let's see how this goes. And they beat the Falcons, okay? So now they got the championship versus the Bears. They go ahead and lose to the Bears in the championship game. Bruh, Bears fans would be so insufferable to... Wait, no, no, never mind. They beat them. Okay, never mind. Okay. Why did I think they lost? I wish it would show, like, the actual thing, like, if they win or lose. I, I wish they did that because it confuses the heck out of me. Okay, I thought they actually lost that game, so it looks like they won that game. Yeah, they beat the Bears 31-10. to Okay. As I was saying, if the Bears did win, they would be so insufferable to the Packers. But now vice versa, the Packers won this game. Holy crap, would Packers fans go off on the Bears. Saying how they're the best team in football and they own them. Alright, Super Bowl. Dolphins versus Packers. And this ends up being Packers destroy the Dolphins 28 to 7. So the first time they played them this season, what did they do to them? They beat them 31 28. It was a back and forth game and very close. Super Bowl, they do a rematch and they destroy the 14 and 3 Dolphins. Brett Favre's MVP of the Super Bowl doesn't really win anything in the actual season, but does win the Super Bowl in the end. So, guys, tell me down below your thoughts and opinions. I'll see you guys in the next one. Dos.